No, this is a passion that we desire because of God, our Father who is in heaven. We pray, may we hallow your name. Why? Because it is worthy. And I know that it's worthy. And I taste that it's worthy. And I see that it's worthy. And I hear that it's worthy. And I smell that it's worthy. And my heart thrives with the worthiness of God. And I'm telling you, you're not going to get it on Facebook. And you're not going to get it with over busyness. You're going to get this when you walk with God. And you behold His creation. And you live with receptivity to His goodness. And you live in reciprocity and response in gratitude for His gifts, even when those gifts are hard. And we enjoy the fellowship of His suffering. The only way we will be able to hallow God's name is as we taste and see that the Lord is good. And so, should we go ahead and hallow God's name and say his name is great? Yes, yes, but I would, I would urge us to pursue something more than just that. Don't just acknowledge that guy is a good president. Know him. Acknowledge him. Love him. Draw near to him. You say, well, I can't get to the president. No, but you can get to God. You can get to God. That's why Jesus came into the world, is to bring us to God. Not the the theology of God merely, but to bring us to God. You say, that sounds mystical. You're darn right it's mystical. It's because the Holy Spirit dwells in us. We are His temples. And He is our life. And He is our hope. And we're just not often pursuing Him hard enough. Oh, so now you believe in salvation by works. Oh, come on. Come on. What is our relationship? Will we pray? The the question here in this passage is, not will you pray our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, but will you even pray? Look at your last week. Not for sake of guilt and self-condemnation, but just question, do you pray? Will we pray? And will we make this particular issue a priority? Hallowed be your name. Why, Why are you guys getting together for community groups? So that God's name would be hallowed. Why are you guys having family worship? So God's name would be hallowed. Why are you reading the Bible? So I may know and fall in love with this God and hallow his name. Why are you studying that theological book? That God's name may be hallowed. Why are you pursuing that person in marriage? So that God's name may be hallowed. Why are you guys getting married? So God's name may be hallowed. Why are you staying pure and celibate in your singleness? So that God's name may be hallowed. Why will we pray? What is our longing? Where is our dependence? Verses 10 through 13. What does it mean to hallow God's name? It is to pray, your kingdom rule come to the earth as it is in heaven. Well, you know what that looks like? It looks like obedience. (laughs) What does it mean for the kingdom of God to come? It means he has a people who love his laws, love his righteous ways, love mercy, love justice. Love humility. Love obedience. It's not a bad word. Law is not a bad word. Striving after holiness is not a bad phrase. Unless you're trying to get to heaven by doing that. Then it's a terrible phrase. And it will damn you and me. But where is our longing? Where is our dependence? It is to say, hallowed be our name. How? How does that look like? Your kingdom coming by the power of your spirit. Your kingdom come. Your will. What you want to happen to be done on earth as it is in heaven. I can't wait till that happens in my marriage. It can happen now. Well, I can't wait till you make my spouse perfect so I can love him perfectly. You, what? That, that's called your kingdom. That's your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's not what this passage says in the Greek or the Arabic or the any other language. What is our longing? Where is our dependence? When we say, give us this day our daily bread. Why? So we may hallow God's name with the strength that it gives us. So we may say thank you to the creator and the provider who has given us this day our daily bread. Verses 